Norway, what a wonderful land of waterfalls, fjords, trolls. In this diary you will hear the sounds, the music of Norway and some of the sights. Here you see a lovely Norwegian docent in Lilsan. Swords in the Rock, and I introduce my lovely wife, Nancy. Of course, in the northern latitudes, you do see atmospheric phenomena, and here is one, a sun pillar. Here we arrive in Vik, so appropriately named for the Viking. And the historic buildings in Vik, particularly the Hove Church you see here, and the State Church that appears in a moment. The eaves still decorated with Viking motifs. Here you see uh, plastic uh, covering uh, vegetable gardens, I think to protect them from frost. The interior of these churches are quite small. You do wonder about the fire hazard in the old state church. One of them. And um, there are an increasing number of um, of young people who want to be married and uh, the, you know the international costume as well. And you are American. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, then I must tell you that uh, there is an American, a retired professor. His grandfather came from this area, further in the north. And this <laughs> professor, he loved state churches and he looked around to find the most beautiful one and uh, he found this. So he wanted to build a replica and he asked his uh, family if he could send his 
savings on building uh, a safe job. And they said yes. One can understand the inspiration that Ibsen and Grieg must have been able to draw from the beauty of their countryside. It's amazing how many of these turf roofs there are even on modern buildings, uh, especially in the northern uh, parts of Norway in the villages. Norway must be thought of as a country, not just of fjords, but so many waterfalls and beautiful waterfalls. the mythic princess of Kipasu waterfall. One thing that became clear is that the weather changed very, very quickly and you really could not go anywhere without wet weather gear, also something to keep you warm and be prepared to take off layers as well because the sun would come out and the sky clear up very quickly.
see some mist about the Brickstall Glacier. These waterfalls were so splendid. You'll see as we get up close these great chunks of water barreling over the rock. It's so impressive. What a treat this was to see the uh, glacier, these waterfalls. You're in this huge amphitheater with these mountains all around you and waterfalls cascading down on all sides. Here we're on our way back down to the uh, park, the park lodge, uh, and uh, on our way back down we see the Brickstall River uh, and the waterfall there. Some lovely mountain flowers, whether these were Bluebells or Jacob's Ladder, I cannot tell you.
it's interesting standing above the falls you hear a higher pitch uh, to the sound of the water uh, whereas if you're down below it you hear the the rumble the power uh, in the lower frequencies interesting uh, to observe I think you can tell the difference in the recording on the uh, audio part here, the lower frequency sounds of the waterfall. Uh, here we catch a lenticular cloud uh, which formed for about five minutes over the uh, glacier. It's formed by crosswinds, so coming up the valley and across the top of the glacier. Isn't this magnificent? Just look at that wonderful. Let's zoom in here and see some of these chunks of water coming down. Now, the legends have it that uh, trolls uh, come out at night and cannot be caught out in the daylight, in sunlight, otherwise they will turn to stone. Uh, there is evidence of that here, you will see in a moment. See these little stone stacks are said to be trolls that were caught in the sunlight. That is our ship, the Lustral of the Ponent uh, French Line, and the, the captain, Jean-Philippe Lemaire, helping uh, passengers on. Very unusual to see a captain doing that. He was a wonderful captain. Seconds. I don't know how to do that. You want to try it, Nancy? You want to, do, you want to try it? No, I don't. I don't. The end of our third day in the evening, cruising out of the North Fjord back to Bergen. Very unusual to have stone, early stone uh, buildings uh, in Norway. Most of the early buildings were in wood. Isn't that something? Canvas screens to a construction site. There's a thought. And what a wonderful fish market Bergen has. Without a doubt, the best fish market I have ever visited. They must have had about 40,000, 50,000 square feet of uh, display. Unbelievable.
sides of salmon there. And on the right there, you see whale meat. Tastes rather like salmon. Dried cod hanging from the root. And some paella. Ah, fragrances. country. So all good things do come to an end. There you see some of the prices. Thank you.